Today's video is brought to you by CarLock, the world's best vehicle tracker and alert system. With CarLock, you'll be able to track your car real time, get alerts of anything suspicious happening to your car, such as your car is starting when it shouldn't be starting, any vibrations. Also, if someone decides to unplug your car lock from your car, you'll get a notification for that too. You deserve that peace of mind and make sure you get your car lock. I do have a discount code for you guys shown on the screen right now. Get 10% off your purchase as well as 14 day free trial with the as well with that same discount code, man. Get you car lock, you deserve that peace of mind. Let's go ahead and get it to the video. Chevy did not do its justice with this car by the way they marketed it. <laughs> Handles so damn good, like it way it turned. Hey guys, so I'm gonna talk about something real quick. So I know we be doing dive stuff on, on this channel a lot, but like I said, we talk cars and stuff a good bit now. I want to talk about the Z01 now. My other video, I was driving around the parking lot. I do want to get a little bit more in depth with this car, man. Let's get a quick walk around of it now. A lot of people, they talk about different cars, how they drive and things like that, but a lot of people have not experienced actually driving different cars and stuff like that. So what we got, Z01 1, 1LE, uh, you can see the 1LE package, big wing, canards, all that type of stuff big thick boy tires on there all of that and honestly i'm gonna say chevy did not do his justice with this car by the way they market it so i'm gonna get it i'm gonna give you some rails give you the exhaust note all that type of stuff so uh let's hop into it man we're going to go right into the video all right so i want y'all to hear the exhaust on this now this is a full factory stock exhaust there's nothing done to this whatsoever i'm gonna let y'all hear how this thing sounds Ooh, he pops and stuff when it starts up man Exhaust. We ain't talking about no muffler deletes, no cat back, anything like this. Is a stock exhaust that Chevy Chevy put out there. Hopefully, you don't run me over. Shit, shit. Woo. Boy, got me playing chicken with a ZL1. Man, <laughs> I don't even know which way to go. I'm like, let me just stay still. Let me stay still. I'm gonna die out here, man. Real deal ZL1. Real deal ZL1, man. Jesus Christ. Now I don't know about that. Exactly. Now I'm gonna do more than that. We're just gonna talk about the car. Let's hop in the car. Challenge. No, <laughs> All right. All right. but uh we're gonna do more than that. We were talking about the car. Let me hop in the car and just tell y'all how this thing feel, man. Because I drove a challenger before, and they and a lot of people compare this car to the challenger. And then I want to want to tell y'all some stuff here, man. So we're in the car. Let me go ahead and start it up here. Hold on, I gotta hit the clutch. I'm tripping, guys. I'm tripping. I've been I ain't been in manual in a minute. Let's go. Okay, there we go. So we're in here. Got a crank up. So let me give y'all a good POV real quick. All right, guys. So we're behind the wheel of the Z01 here. So a couple things that are real different. In the Z01, you're stepping really down into the car, really, really low. Um, and I know one thing people talk about the sight lines in the car. I'm not gonna mess with that, but you can see the rear view camera is actually rear view mirror slash rear view camera paired off the roof here. And you can see how, how it is. Like you really can't see anything off that side and off of this side and what, whatnot. But you do have your blind spot monitoring and all that type of stuff here. So here we go. So we're gonna give a couple drives here. So here we go. We're off. And. I'm gonna tell you right now, so we'll turn. Now, one thing with turning this car, this car stays really flat. It doesn't body roll or anything like that. So let's gonna get a good hard pull right here. I 
I mean, and you can hear the tires losing traction in first and second gear, but the thing about it is, honestly, any car with enough power is gonna break traction on any type of tires, unless you have some serious drag radios here. So you can see here. And these brakes, trust these brakes a lot. <laughs> these brakes have really stopped the car here. So you can see that, right? You can see how this thing drives. Now, I feel like the shifting on this car is much better than the Challenger. And I can say that because I've driven a manual Challenger before. And the shifting, I feel like in this is really good. It's really tight. I can get into the gear with confidence. With the Challenger, it definitely was a little sloppier and whatnot. Like when you go to shift the gear, sometimes you can mess up a gear or whatnot. But this shifter is pretty straightforward here right i'm easy to get in there right and, and and that is really good now another thing here you got the gear indicators as well the challenger did not have that so when i go through the gears i went to fifth there third four fifth that's reverse fifth six see that's something that the challenger don't not don't doesn't have like this car is a track focused car so it's going to tell you what gear you're in because a lot of times when you drive you may forget what gear you're in you have this heads up display that's going to keep you on it's going to tell you what gear you're in also i'm not sure if you can see it but the heads up display here also tells you the gear so you can see here on the window as i'm going through the track i'm, I'm doing my turns and doing that stuff i can see what gear i'm in I'm keep going to reverse there fifth six right so let's get a launch on this thing and uh see how it does so try a little drag racing launch. So with the light and we go. Get on it and then spin it, spin it. And guys, this thing stops. Confident. I feel like I'm, I could really take this turn fast. So I take the turn fast like this. So I'm gonna take the turn kind of fast. Man. And see, I'll take these turns. This thing turns. It just wants to turn. So. See the side of this thing turn. This thing, I like this really it handles so damn good. Like it way it turns. Got so much confidence how this thing turns. Guys, this car, man, the way this car handles, honestly, I'm a Dodge guy, I love Dodge, but honestly, what Chevy did to this car is amazing. Like, I feel like this car, a lot of people know about this car, but I feel like with Chevy's marketing, I feel like there was a lot more they could have talked about when it comes to this particular car. Um, the exhaust sounds amazing, the car handles amazing, it looks amazing, and it's it's all around an amazing car. And a lot of people take these cars and they compare it to the Challenger. And driving the Challenger versus driving this car, and like I was saying here, driving the Challenger versus driving this car, I feel like it's a night and day difference. I mean, a lot of people compare this car because it's a two-door American car and things like that. But the way this car, like, sounds, handles, and things like that, it's a, it's another level from the Challenger. And, and especially if you're talking about the Hellcats and Red Eyes, things like that, because the power on it is pretty, it's close to it, right? But this car is not the same to me. It, it does, it's not in the same class. I mean, this is not a disc to Dodge or anything like that. This is just real deal how this car is designed, right? A lot of people, like I said, compared to Z01 to the Hellcat and Red Eyes, but this car does not handle the same. And that's coming from someone, I've driven an RT, and I felt like the RT handles. Even though I upgraded my suspension on my RT, I've been in Hellcats and stuff before, and this Chevy does not compare to that whatsoever. Like, when you driving this car, it gives you more of a high-end sports car feel for a fraction of the cost. Like Chevy, they are tripping the way they market this car. This car should have been in every commercial. They should have ran it down your throats, but Chevy didn't do all that, man. Just wanna give y'all a quick video to talk about this car and give y'all some firsthand experience with how these cars actually drive and handle stuff like that, man. Um, always, man, thank y'all for tuning in. We're gonna catch you on the next video. We're out, cut it.